Hi folks and welcome back to my YouTube channel and in this video we're going to be looking on how to build your own LED constant light source. We all have worked in a studio as a photographer or videographer and you're used to flashlights and this is a flashlight and that's typically in a studio and these flashlights they come in all kind of brands and styles and they all have what we call a light shaper in the front. Uh, they come in different sizes, uh, this is one, and the one in the back of me is a big umbrella, you have small umbrellas, you know, all kinds of styles, and you probably have invested quite some money in those, and the problem now is that all these light shapers that we have, you can't really fit a continuous light to it, unless you buy it from the brand uh, where you bought the softbox from. And those LED sources or lamp sources that produce continuous light are very expensive if you can find them for your specific fitting on your soft boxes. Because soft boxes, all of them have a propriety fitting and this is the kind of fitting for brown color. You know, it's like a circle with some keys on. So you will have to have something like this uh, to your constant light source if you want to fit it onto one of your soft boxes. But don't worry, I'm going to show you on how you all can do this. And if you're a little bit handy, uh, with metal works, not very complex, then you can do this very easily with a few little tools. But what I'm going to show you now is how you can create a continuous light source with an LED, a light emitting diode, producing at least 10,500 lumen. Now that is a lot. So let's go to the workshop and show you on how we're going to build it. So this is what we're going to need to build the light source. And the key thing is this LED. This LED produces 10,500 lumen. That's a lot. It's a 100 watt LED. It needs to be powered by 36 volts and a maximum of 2.7 amp. The problem with that LED is that it's going to get warm. So we'll have to cool it. If it's more than 60 degrees, it will be destroyed. So therefore, I'm going to use a typical cooling system that you can get for CPUs, but you can buy those cooling systems uh, online. And we'll mount the LED onto the cooling system. Very handy, and uh, it becomes a bit bigger, but that's okay, it's still not too big. Uh, now to force the cooling, I'm also going to use a fan, and here's a fan, it's just a CPU fan, a computer fan, a desktop fan, whatever you want to call it. And the nice thing about this LED is that it has a CRI of 95. The LED itself produces daylight, so 5700 degrees Kelvin, but it has a CRI of 95. Now a CRI stands for Color Rendering Index. It's the ability of a light source, of an LED in this case, to produce the same colors on objects, just like the sunlight does. And we all know that objects are either absorbing colors or reflecting colors. And um, because the sunlight is having a lot of wavelengths, and you can see that with the rainbow, you can see all the colors, or if you have a prism, you can see how the light can break, and then you see all the colors. Well, if the LED is producing the same range of uh, wavelengths for daylight, then you would have a 100% CRI. So it would be exactly the same as it was daylight. It would give you exactly the same colors. Uh, but that is kind of impossible to do. So overall, for video purposes and uh, photography purposes, a CRI of 93 and higher is considered more than adequate, in fact, very well. Now, this is CRI of 95, at least according to the manufacturer. I don't know if that's going to be the case, but let's assume it is. Uh, and then we'll uh, see uh, afterwards how good or how bad it is. Um, one more thing is that when you order up these uh, LEDs, and, and they are really nice, um, they come with a kind of a mirror reflector and a mounting kit, as you can see, and you actually have to mount the LED into that position, and then you can actually add a lens to it. See, this is the lens uh, that comes with it. I mean, this is really cool stuff. 
and you put the mirror on top of it, then you put the lens on top of it, and then you can put the whole thing uh, on, on a, a system that holds it in place. And now you have a one hell of a light source uh, to be used in your uh, studio. Of course, we still will have to make the adaption rings for your soft boxes, but we'll make it with metal. And all this will be housed in this metal uh, grid plate that I have here. So, um, without any further ado, let's get on then with building it. And we're going to start by building the fixture and the adaptation rings for your soft boxes. And then we'll actually build uh, the light source itself, which isn't all that hard because an LED only has two connections, a plus and a minus. We're still going to need a power supply. Uh, this LED needs, as I said before, 36 volts and up to 2.6 max uh, amperage. So um, if we want to make it a regulated light source so we can uh, have more or less light, then we'll have to reduce the power uh, through the LED. And so I'm going to make it adjustable and you'll see that as well on how you can do that. But you don't need to do it. So this was the introduction, guys. So now uh, let's get on to it. 